Okay, so did you figure out yesterday's HVAC problem? So, so if you remember yesterday, we were talking about a makeup air unit and going from 95 degrees dry bulb, 78 degrees wet bulb, down to 75 degrees dry bulb and 50% relative humidity. So the question was, how do you get from point A to point B using the psychometric processes of cooling, dehumidification, and heating? So an overall view of the psychometric chart, when you're moving from right to left, you're sensibly cooling. When you're moving from a lower point to a higher point, you're adding humidity. When you're moving down the psych chart, you're removing humidity, you're dehumidifying. When you're moving from left to right, you're adding heat or heating the air. So how does it work with a package DX 100% outdoor unit? Well, I'll show you. So you have this air, it's at 95 degrees, 78, which is very hot, very humid air. When it initially goes through the cooling coil, it starts to sensibly cool. It moves in somewhat of a straight line from right to left. So that would be the cooling process, okay? Then when it approaches this line here, which is your 100% saturation line, it starts to curve down and kind of follows that line down. Not a very pretty curve, but you get the point. Follows it down to wherever it's able to go down to, depending on the temperature of the coil. And you would leave the cooling coil somewhere like this. Now, that doesn't get us to here, does it? So what process do we use to get from the temperature leaving the coil to the desired leaving air temperature 75 degrees? Well, that's where heating comes in, typically in the form of hot gas reheat, which is hopefully modulating. And we go from this point from left to right, and we heat the air, okay? So there you go. That's the psychrometric process for cooling 100% outdoor air and going from 95 degrees, 78 wet bulb, down to 75 degrees and 50%. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next HVAC problem.